Leo, hello, welcome. Let's jump right into your Leo and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, Leo? Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading for Leos who are single, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And I do offer personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry, Leo. Excuse me. Leo, so with who this is, they start out really freaking depressed about you. I'm talking some serious pain. They're not wanting to deal with it or heal. It's just really painful for them. It looks like here, I'm going to say they show that they have so much community, society, neighborhood support, money, so much wealth and abundance. Maybe they have, you know, you guys are friends or coworkers. I don't know yet who this is to you. There's a lot of money there. They're making some secret plans about something here about them and you. And then right after that here, now they get aggravated. Um, they get like fixated. They get stuck and obsessive and aggressive, chaotic, manipulative, whatever here. They don't want to make the peace here with you. Instead, they just want to work on things with themselves, go to work, but work with you. And then they don't even know what to do. They're delusional. They're confused. They've run out of options about what to do about them and you. They're showing you and how, you know, you light, you light them up. They're very happy with you, okay? Uh, they want to approach you or give you an idea and help out. And that's something for them that's shocking and revealing for them that they want to do. But then to really do it, they don't because they don't want to truly genuinely be honest with themselves or with you for whatever reason. Um, so they're keeping a, a truth from you. And then they're uncomfortable that they're doing that. They feel uncomfortable, bored, stuck, like they've settled instead with whatever, whoever they're with. And then they can't even let go of you, though. It's painful. They can't just end it. They want to take a leap of faith here with you and towards you, but then they fight that. And then instead, they just put their walls up and stay guarded towards you instead. But then they also want to be neutral, calm, and aware. They know what's going on and what they're doing here with you and towards you. Right after that, they have a lot of passion for you and towards you. And they run quickly to you because they want to fight for this with you. And then after that, it's like they don't want to relay the message and talk to you or accept the bad news. Maybe you guys have blocked each other. They don't want, really want to seek enlightenment with themselves to figure out more of what they can do in the situation. Oh shit, that makes sense. Well, let's see here. It's either they want to be in a relationship with you or they already are in a relationship with someone else, for sure. Yeah, they're in a relationship with someone else. And that's the mess, huh? The mess, the mess, the maka, maka, maka makes you think of the um, hocus pocus, the, the blonde one, the dumb blonde one. A maka, 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 they smack her like, stop it. <laughs> that, that's such a great movie. Um, anyway, so they show up saying that they're unhappy with you, ungrateful, unfulfilled. They're not getting what they want out of you. They've made a judgment call to do what? I don't know. To then be irritated and aggressive with you. One, because they want to be with you. For some of you, this is a friend. This is your close, someone you're close to or they want to be in a relationship with you, or they are in a full-blown relationship with someone else. Now, here's the thing. They still have hope and faith that something can work out between them and you in the most toxic, deceptive, aggressive, um, addictive energy, unfortunately. But they're trying to, um, you know, create 
realistic options through investments and energy and time and money and effort being spent with them and you. And then they're fighting something that they know they need to just be done with and end about them and you. It looks like here they just want to offer you an opportunity of some sort. Well, now they're saying that they, for some of you, these are your friends with them. For others of you, this is someone that most definitely is not only probably doing drugs, drinking, smoking, they're back to their vices, whatever, or they, you've cheated with them and they're with someone else, or they want to cheat with you and have an affair because they're, and the thing what's messed up is they're only using you for position, money, wealth status, because it looks like here that they want to manifest something with you. Okay, sounds great. And then afterwards, they're like, yeah, I have no feelings for Leo. I have no crush on them. I don't care for them. I have no passion for them. And I don't give a fuck. But let me show my position of who I am that I've created off of Leo. I don't know. Then they're emotionally disconnected from you, but they can't really walk away from you because maybe it's a friend and or they want to cheat with you or they have cheated with you. You know what I mean? On who they're with. They're not truly happy and celebratory. Yeah, they're using you for sex probably here. There's a pissy Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra. Um, so let's see more. Oh, shit. Oh, they're in a full-blown fucking marriage with someone else. That's why, Leo. Ah, oh, so there it is. So they're only using you and trying to play around with you for their position. While they're fucking around, not only with you, but also with who they're married to. So... <laughs> But then they get pissy with you and cold and restricted of it, but also manipulative and strategic because they know they hate who they're married to. They're saying they don't really care. They don't lose sleep at night. Yeah, they're saying they're not truly actually in love with you. They could give a crap less about you, but they're hanging on to everything that they get monetarily out of you or off of you. I don't know. Um... For some of you, I get ex-divorcee vibes or like ex-vibes, but at the same time, they're with someone else. So here's the thing. They, they don't lose sleep at night. And what they're saying now is, yeah, they don't love you. They don't care for you. They have, they have nothing for you anyway. So who gives a shit is what they're saying here. Now they're not even really truly in their strength to have the balls to say something or do something here with you. But instead, now they just want to make everything equal with you. By not resorting these issues, by not being wise and kind of keeping to themselves to figure out what they can do. Yeah, now they don't want to work or do anything, but they want to use you and who they're with for money, wealth, status, and all that here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an earth sign, an air sign, or a water sign. All right, thank you, bye.